Qatar's Prime Minister has visited Palestinian patients evacuated from the Gaza Strip at Hamad Hospital. A brand new Arabic calligraphy competition has been inaugurated by the Awqaf Ministry. And finally, Meta has agreed to end the ban on the word Shaheed. Hi, this is Ali. This is The Roundup and here are today's top stories. Qatar's Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani, visited wounded Palestinians who are currently receiving medical treatment in Doha. During his visit to Hamad Hospital, Sheikh Mohammed visited a a young Palestinian boy named Baha who lost one of his legs and his mother during an Israeli attack on the besieged strip. Sheikh Mohammed noted that despite the boy's circumstances, Baha did not lose hope and wished him and the other Palestinian patients a speedy recovery. In other news, the Awqaf Ministry inaugurated the first edition of the Qatar International Arabic Calligraphy Competition, officially known as Al Raqim. The event, launched at the Qatar Museum, stands as the largest international Arabic calligraphy contest, boasting prizes totaling. 1 million rials in value. The competition and its contribution to enhancing Qatar's cultural and global influence are aligned with Qatar National Vision 2030. And finally, after a year-long review, Meta announced it will lift its blanket ban on the word Shaheed or Martyr. The word accounted for more content removals on the company platforms than any other single word or phrase. Meta has been criticized over the years for its handling of content in the Middle East and has been accused of indiscriminately censoring Palestinians and other Arabic speaking users on its platforms. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.